What is up guys, Noli here and welcome to Mask of the Day episode 148, week of sin episode 2. Today we have a mask designed by the one and only Sanders Gaming because he is making his own mask videos that I did link a video or two ago and I do hope you check him out, enjoy what he does but of course I'm doing his hockey heat mask today, Greed, uh, and I hope you enjoy how he designed the Greed hockey heat. So, greed in itself is, uh, you'd think it's an easy mask to make with this being payday. And going for the bronze is going to give us the exact gold sheen we want. Of course, the gold material may be preferable to some of you, but uh, bronze was the one stipulated. And I don't actually have gold. It's one of the only missing, well, patterns, materials, or colors from my inventory. Next up, the greedy spider is his greed symbol of choice. There are a couple of others you could possibly consider. Maybe the Illuminati sign. Uh, what else? There's not an awful lot else that I can think of. Possibly one of the Payday 2 emblems, maybe. But now this is definitely the best choice in my opinion. And finally, color-wise, it's completely up to you. Uh, I'm going to go with his first of all and show you a couple of other options. So the solid light brown is really nice. It fits in with the gold. Um, obviously the idea of the greedy spider going from place to place on his web, taking what he wants and bringing it all back to where he started. I do like the hockey heat mask. Uh, while it doesn't particularly theme with the greed idea or anything, uh, hockey heat is a very good base platform because it's wide and lengthy. But let's have a look at the other options we've got. Uh, if you want to keep to that light brown greedy spider, then you can choose the light brown navy blue just to get a little more evidence of the web there. I think it's probably my personal favorite. Or just having a look down here, as always, the black designs are often quite popular and if you want, again, a little more sinister mask. Black is of course an option, but let's go back up to his designer choice, the solid light brown. And I'd like to say to you guys, thanks a lot for watching, and please do comment your mask ideas for the uh, Sin Week. Week of Sin. Forgot what my own series was called for a moment then. Uh, a really good idea is, like I saw posted on the first video, I believe, we have every single deadly sin with a mask behind it. I am almost undoubtedly going to choose one of those masks to be featured. So if you guys want to emulate what you saw in the first video, I think it was from Chris, um, go for it. I do like that idea of covering as many sin ideas as possible. Those of you who've done sins that aren't stereotypical deadly sins, now those masks will absolutely be featured. Whether they'll be featured in this special week of sin, I don't know. But um, I do take them into account and I've checked them out and they are pretty awesome. So, of course, if you want to be featured specifically on this week where I've done a flat base platform for those of you who've never been featured before or who just have great mask ideas to again be on the Mask of the Day show. And then after that, we'll resume normal mask service as always following the top five masks of the month as always. So that's a lot for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next one. And remember... Do let me know of your sinful ideas. 